Hello, my name is Timothy Meyer, and I've been teaching with VIP Kid for about a year and a half. During that time, I've taught nearly 4,000 classes to over 1,200 students, and I've done so from six different countries. In this video, I'd like to share my experiences living, teaching, and traveling overseas while teaching for VIP Kid. So I began teaching for VIP Kid in March of 2016 when I was still living in the USA. Uh, about a month and a half later, I flew to Phuket, Thailand, and lived there for four months. On the way to Thailand, I had a layover in Beijing, so of course I went and visited the VIP Kid headquarters and even got to meet Jesse Chen, one of the founders of VIP Kid. In Thailand, I rented a room uh, in Phuket. It's called a mansion there, but it's basically just a, a glorified or not so glorified motel room uh, for about $165 a month, and that included housekeeping. There was a pool. It was a pretty good deal. I had a dedicated internet line installed, and I forget the exact speeds, but it was plenty fast for teaching uh, for VIP Kid. Um, the internet in Thailand is generally pretty good. Speeds were good. Internet was reliable. Uh, the only main issue I faced was every now and then there was a power outage, uh, which meant I had to rush to a friend's house and do uh, teaching from there on a couple of occasions. But overall, it was a very good experience. And since the time zone is just one hour different uh, between Thailand and China, I could teach lots and lots and lots of classes. And the record was in July of 2016 when I had 365 official classes in one month. Needless to say, I was exhausted, but uh, it was a good month nonetheless. Uh, if you're considering moving to Thailand, the visa situation can be a little tricky. Uh, as a U.S. citizen, you can get one month on arrival, but that's not going to be enough if you plan to stay for a long time. You can also do a visa run to a neighboring country like Malaysia and get a two month tourist visa, which can then be extended uh, one additional month in Thailand itself. So you could get three months uh, altogether there. Uh, as to whether you can continue to do visa runs back to back indefinitely, I don't know. Like a lot of things in Thailand, it's difficult to get good information and the rules can change at any time. So uh, that is a little tricky. If you do want to stay longer, perhaps you would want to enroll in a language course or do something else which would give you a long-term visa. Um, and then you could continue to teach with VIP Kid on that visa. Uh, after finishing my first six-month contract in Thailand, I took a break from teaching and uh, went to Borneo, Malaysian Borneo, and did some exploring in the mountains and in the jungles of Borneo and then decided to move to Taiwan, where I had lived before for a year and taught at a Taiwanese school. I had some friends in Taiwan, so I ended up renting a room from them and using their Wi-Fi connection to, again, teach with VIP Kid, and that was okay. Uh, sometimes the connection had a few problems, and eventually uh, I bought a new 4G phone and got a 4G SIM, and then began using my phone as a 4G hotspot and that actually worked much better. Uh, the speeds were faster, it was more reliable, and so uh, that worked out very well. If you're considering moving to Thailand, it is a, an, an amazing country, really. It doesn't have the beaches that Thailand does, but um, it has a very low cost of living, the people are very friendly, crime is very low, and it has universal health care. So what more could you ask for? It also has lots of mountains for hiking. It does have a few beaches, uh, especially on the East Coast, there's some beautiful spots and uh, a much lower population on the East Coast than on the West Coast. Um, so I lived for about seven months in Taiwan, and the good thing about Taiwan from a visa point of view, if you are a U.S. citizen, is that you get a 90-day visa stamp on arrival. You don't have to apply for it, you just get it at the airport. And at the end of 90 days, you can make a visa run to a neighboring country, come right back, and you get another 90 days. And I asked multiple people how long can a person do that? And I was told you can do it for years. Apparently there's no uh, limit to how many back-to-back -back visa runs you can make. So for that reason alone, Taiwan is an excellent option and there are other good reasons um, to choose Taiwan. For me, uh, I took a visa run to Okinawa, Japan uh, in January, I think, of this year, 2017. Just spent a weekend there, but got to explore a bit of Japan. And then a few months later, took another visa run to Hong Kong. I literally left in the morning 
and came back early afternoon. I think it was eight hours more or less from when I left my home to when I got back home. So that was just a quick visa run, but uh, no issues coming back in after doing back-to-back -back visa runs. Again, in Taiwan, the time zone is very similar. It's actually the same as in mainland China. And so there again, it was very easy to uh, get lots of hours and to not have to get up in the middle of the night to do so as some North American teachers might have to do. After finishing my second contract, uh, second six month contract with VIP Kid in Taiwan, I took another break and did some traveling in the Middle East in May of this year, 2017. I flew to Amman, Jordan and spent three weeks exploring Jordan, including Petra. Uh, and then I flew on to Turkey and uh, spent about a week or so uh, exploring Turkey. This was my second time in Turkey. Uh, and then I rented a room through Airbnb uh, in the coastal town of Didim and taught with VIP Kid for one month from that uh, location. And again, in Turkey, I bought a local SIM, a 4G SIM, bought some data and just used my phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot. And in Turkey, again, the internet, or the Wi-Fi, sorry, the 4G connection was very strong. I had download speeds of around 50 megabytes per second, upload speeds of, I think, 20 to 25 megabytes per second consistently. And in Turkey, a package of 10 gigabytes of data costs around $13. And with 10 gigabytes, I could teach approximately 130 classes. So that broke down to about 10 cents per class which is very reasonable. And when my data got low, I just went, uh, topped up another 10 gigs and I was good to go. So uh, there again, uh, if you want to live in Turkey or teach from Turkey, you certainly have some options. The visa situation for Turkey, as I recall, uh, is you can stay 90 days on a single uh, entry visa, which you do have to apply for ahead of time. Um, and then I think you have to leave the country for three months before you're allowed back in. Again, there would be some other options, perhaps le learning a language um, or yeah, getting a student visa or getting a part-time job, which would provide a visa. I don't know much about that because I didn't do that in Turkey. But in any event, uh, it's certainly another option. And of course, Airbnb uh, is an excellent um, platform to find a room to rent for a week or a month or months on end, whatever. Uh, and it certainly works with teaching for VIP kid. I would just recommend that you uh, let the host or hostess know or ask them if it's okay if you teach online from their home, just to be considerate of them. So after Turkey, I flew home to the US and spent the summer at my with my family in Maine, helped them to move to a new house and then began to teach again from the new location with wonderful high-speed cable internet, which the old house did not have. After that, in the beginning of September, I flew back to Turkey for a few weeks and then flew on to Spain, where I did my first workaway job. And I lived with a family in Catalonia near the city of Girona and helped their daughter with her English homework and taught online for VIP Kid again. Uh, that was fine with them. Again, I used their uh, Wi-Fi uh, as they were living in the country, so I don't think there was a very good uh, 4G signal there, but the Wi-Fi generally worked just fine, fine. and so I uh, taught again from there for about six weeks or so during my stay there. And then about one month ago, I left Spain and flew here to Bogota, Colombia, South America, and here again I'm renting a room through Airbnb and using the Wi-Fi here to teach for VIP Kid. Now this, the speed here isn't the best. It's about 10 megabytes download speed and two upload, but overall I haven't really had uh, any issues or many issues other than the power has gone out a few times during class. But overall, uh, it has worked out very well. And again, I uh, asked the lady who I'm renting uh, the room from if it would be okay to teach, because now I get up at four, start teaching at 5 a.m. And uh, she let me know ahead of time that that wouldn't be a problem, and it hasn't been. So um, that's, I believe, six countries now that I have uh, taught English from for VIP Kid. And of course, it's an incredible job. It's an incredible opportunity to uh, not only to teach kids, which is awesome, and I love doing that, and the Chinese kids are generally great students, um, but the flexibility of the job that allows you to live pretty much anywhere in the world where there's a good internet connection 
and teach from there is just incredible. Of course, another advantage is that I can choose my own schedule. I can open as many or as few time slots as I want to. And uh, if they get filled, then I teach them and get paid for each class I teach. Uh, and of course, uh, another advantage is, well, the pay is great as far as I'm concerned. As a package, it's certainly the best job I've ever had. Uh, and for example, here in Colombia, I plan to teach maybe for another month or two and then take a break, fly down to uh, the Amazon region and probably spend a month exploring the Amazon, doing some wildlife photography and getting to know this region. So just to have a job where I can work when I want to, work as hard as I want to, and then take a break for a week or a month or however long I want to, and know that the job is there when I'm ready to start teaching again, uh, it's, it's just incredible. So if you're already teaching with VIP Kid, maybe this video has uh, sparked your interest in uh, taking a bit of risk and uh, moving to another country or doing some traveling abroad uh, while teaching or perhaps do some traveling and then live abroad in one location, teach for a while, do some more traveling, you can certainly do that with VIP Kid. If you're not teaching with VIP Kid yet and maybe you want to, I highly recommend it. If you're serious about teaching, if you're responsible, um, let VIP Kid know, send an application to them and uh, get started along the on the process of becoming a VIP Kid teacher. Uh, if you are interested in uh, applying with VIP Kid, please use the um, link in the description and that will take you to them and then you can apply through them. Now I will say that if you do apply through my link and you get hired, I will get a referral bonus for having referred you and you will get a great job with a great company and to me that sounds like a win-win situation. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to ask me. I do hope to make another video to show you what tools and resources I take along with me when I go traveling overseas so you can have some idea of how you can have a not too heavy, fairly concise kit uh, that has all the essentials so you can take your job on the road. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please like it. And for the moment, happy teaching and happy traveling. See you later.